Well hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This is the Crafty Cockney bringing you more doorways. Um, we've started uh, chapter 2 now which is called the Auditorium. Here we are, we have this Swedish dude that we need... Oh, there we go. Swedish cycle path. That's what I'm going to call him now. I like that. That we're tracking out. That didn't fuck all. So we started off straight away with a puzzle. Yeah, that's where we came down in the LEV tour or lift if you're English which I am so I'll say lift fucking deal with it huge amount of clues in this game either, you're pretty much left to your own devices to work these things out, which I quite like, until it starts taking too long and then I just start getting really frustrated and pissed off, <laughs> but don't we all, why didn't this work, move you bastard, move you fucker, why you not work, oh, oh, oh. Can't select it. There's no way of putting that down somewhere. <clears throat> I don't think we've got anything left in our inventory. I think our inventory is what well, our items. Yeah, yeah. We're, we is empty, bruv. We is empty. We ain't got nothing. Can't climb up there. Nothing around here. Sometimes you've got to crouch really clo close to the floor. The floor. I can't fucking talk today. Crouch quite close to the floor to, uh, to actually see so many times. Can we go back up? It's like, nope. in our inventory. No. I can't remember where we picked it up. <laughs> Side? No. Okay. They were alive? Okay, that's not fucking creepy, is it? Why are you running around like this? I'm looking for the secrets. Shit to pick up. Because it's horrible having to backtrack all the time. I think this is just, this is one of those kind of games you're going to have to backtrack. It's not going to let you find everything on the first go. I thought that was a dude. What is that, my? That's that is a key. Okay. So, whoop, whoop, whoop. What's up, 
the end. Then. What the fuck? Okay. So we need to find a key to activate something over there, which is going to move something on. Yeah, yeah. And you heard it here first. I'm trying to be observant as I walk along. Is this some blood? This is some creepy ass shit. Yeah, that fucker better not move. Look at his ding dong! You better not fucking move. Okay, we've got more to explore anyway. Let's just have a little read. The personality of the sculptor is very complex. It has many layers, each one concealing the next. To discover them, one has to earn the trust of their owner, and know which intimate mechanisms to trigger. The entrance to his lair was closed, but that was to be expected. He wouldn't let anyone into the refuge of his most secret thoughts and memories. The answer was hidden somewhere else. I still had to research all the clues that I was sure were waiting for me ahead. I had a faint suspicion about their nature, deep inside. I was hoping to be wrong. Okay, so this is the entrance to his secret lair. <laughs> it was there to pull. I pulled it. Part of some uh, puzzle probably has to be in a certain place. I have to hop, skip, and jump over somewhere. Okay. What's oh, that? Like a moth drawn to the flame. Oh shit, door closed behind me. <laughs> Hello. Fuck. Is that just a sculpture? It fucking better be. You better not wake up and try to eat my ding dong. Descended to a deeper area in the sculptor's museum. In front of me, I could see a sculpture that gave me the shivers. Me I couldn't understand exactly why until I remembered where I'd seen it. Its face was the same as one of the missing persons that I was ordered to search for while I was investigating this case. He was a man that was last seen with the sculptor in one of his occasional excursions out of his mansion. The body of the sculpture had a classical style that reached for perfection, but his face was silently screaming for help and looked at me begging for something that I would never understand completely. There was something about this statue that kept me on my toes. I couldn't understand exactly what. To me, the statues were nothing more than statues, and they couldn't hurt me. But for the sculptor, they were something else. The representation of strength. Power and beauty applied as punishment to any foreign enemy. That feeling was overwhelming, and I slowly began to be afraid of the sculptures, but I couldn't take my eyes off them. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna to they're see. gonna try eating us. I'm not happy about this turn of events. Right. So these are actual victims. Jesus, what black magic is this? 
Oh look, it's Han Solo <laughs> at the Jabba the Hutt Museum. <laughs> okay. Hole in the floor. Well, let me open that. We'll just keep exploring, shall we? Pardon me, that wasn't me, that was, actually, that was a vehicle outside. That wasn't me giving a little part. Did you hear that? I fucking heard it. Something growling. God, these things are going to get up. Hey man, what you got in your hand there? Why can't I pick it up? <laughs> He's got something in his hand. I would like to take it from you. Ah, I will use this to stand on. Can I just jump up on this? Yeah. This isn't going to be anywhere special then. I fucking knew it! He threw the key. He threw the key. I gotta find the key. Whoa! Where's the key? Where did you throw it, you fuck? I got the key! I got the key! It's all good! Run! What the fuck? <laughs> it's not like, mmm, it's a key. <laughs> it's really nice, it's a key. <laughs> oh, he's coming! Shit. You, fuck you, motherfucker. It's the key, the key's on the floor here. Pick up the key. I got the key, run, run with the key. La 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 la. Get the key, well, congratulations for you. We need to find a door. Put it in before I have a boo. <laughs> la 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 la. I don't know what that's for. That looks very expensive and nice. Let's just run around looking at things we might be able to use it in. Got what I need, now I'll disappear. I'm disappearing. Oh, I just had to run outside. Oh, I think I just pulled myself. I fucking knew they'd get up! So how many more of these we got to face? I might have picked that up and he went... Sweet Mary and Joseph. Right. Do I need to use key on this? Yeah. Pretty light. <sighs> there was another one of those. Those red box thingies. I swear I saw one of those earlier. <clears throat> Let's continue on our way. But we're not we're backtracking. This is not giving us the option. Okay, this is where we saw the other one. Ah, okay. So we take that out. 
That's like an old, an old one. I guess. Hey, we have power. We have powered the lift. Zozo baby. First floor, ladies' lingerie. Hello. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, taking that out made the door open. We are progressing quite nicely, guys. I've no idea why I'm talking like that. Really, I've just fucking lost it, I think. I've lost the plot, bruv. What can I say? Hello? I'll pull this all the way back. Will that do something magical or mystical? <laughs> as long as that fucker leaves us alone, he's a big boy. He's a big one, isn't he? Two strange icons like that what we have now. Pick that up, and now we've got that. Side. So, what was that flight of stairs? You will remember the one. I think we're doing bloody well actually. We are progressing quite nicely. I'll tell you what we do though guys, time is starting to tick on a little bit, I don't want this to drag on too much. We're going to call this episode here, we're doing really well. That fucking scared the shit out of me, that big thing running on though. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that guys, if you did, please remember to smash that old like button to fuck. And remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter too guys, the links for both are in the description to this video. And I will catch you beautiful bastards for the next terrifying episode. This has been the Crafty Cockney. And later.